Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Carlo Oger. I'm a board certified emergency physician. And in this video, I'm going to talk about STD, sexually transmitted disease exposure, and what are the concerns? What is the treatment? How can you get tested? What to do next? So there are many different kinds of STD. We're going to mention them here. Of course, most commonly, chlamydia and gonorrhea. Chlamydia, more benign, usually causes minor symptoms of itchiness at the tip of the urethra. It can cause a little bit of a clear discharge. And then there's gonorrhea, same symptoms, a little more severe, thicker discharge, more systemic symptoms, maybe achiness and soreness and so on. In females, both infections can develop into severe forms of cervicitis and even pelvic inflammatory disease. But we're talking about exposure, not the disease. So let's say you were exposed, you had a high-risk sexual intercourse, and now you're worried about infection, or you had a phone call from an ex that they tested positive for X, Y, and Z and you're looking for information, you want to know what to do next. The other STD, so chlamydia, gonorrhea, is going to be trichomonas, very common, very easily treatable. That's a bacterial infection that produces the thicker discharge in females and itchiness and, and kind of soreness down there. Uh, in males, just a, a discharge also with discomfort and whatnot. Herpes, Stemplex virus, which causes the sores. If this is your first ever uh, herpes, then that produces uh, a systemic viral illness with sickness and fever and body aches and stuff. And of course, multiple, very painful, shallow ulcers in the genital area. And then there is, of course, HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, which very treatable nowadays. You can decrease viral loads. And especially if you do pre-exposure prophylaxis, if you know you're going to have a high-risk contact or you do post-exposure prophylaxis, the chance of you getting HIV are very low. So it's worth knowing. And it's worth looking for yeah. emergency treatment if you have been exposed. Then there is syphilis, which has come back. It used to be a very rare disease. I recently diagnosed a teenager with syphilis. So, and it's more common in Florida where the older people are having more casual intercourse with multiple partners and syphilis has come up. That is a bacterial disease. And then hepatitis, the bloodborne hepatitis, hepatitis A, B, and C. Those are the most common, the most comprehensive amount of we listed. STD, sexually transmitted infections. If you've been exposed, you had a high-risk exposure, or you've been told that you might have one of them, you probably need to be tested and checked for all of them. A lot of times these go together, it go in pairs. So you want to have a proper diagnosis. There are two things I would recommend for you to get tested. Of course, you can go to an emergency department or your primary doctor. That, that's going to be number one. But you're here watching a video. You want to do this yourself. There are two ways to do it. I'm going to put the links in the description below. One is mylabbox.com, where they send you a packet and you provide blood samples, uh, saliva samples, urine samples, you send it back and you get a comprehensive STD panel of results and it'll tell you what you have or do not have. A little more expensive, but very convenient, very private. You do it out of your home. So awesome service. The second is healthlabs.com. Again, description, the link will be here. So you can go there, you type in STD, comprehensive testing, you, you, you pay the money, and then they'll send you to an email where you set up what lab you want to show up at, set up a time, you go on and you get the samples at a lab, and then you get your results yourself. So let's say you are positive, what's next? Or you were just exposed and you want to be treated. Go to the emergency department, right? No, no, I, I don't want you in my emergency department, not for something like this if it's just exposure. We want to treat you, of course, and you want to do it quickly. So there are services like telehealth and teledoc that you can do that are very inexpensive and can provide you with the initial medications for STD, both prophylaxis and for treatment. The one that I use that I'm part of is called sesamicare.com. Again, the description will be down below. Or you go to carlooler.com, you click on telehealth, and it'll send you to my page. If you're in Georgia and Pennsylvania, I can provide those services. If you're in any other state, then you can use any of the other providers on the site. And we can provide you with prescriptions. For chlamydia, very simple to treat. We give Zethromax, one whole gram, one time dose, done. For gonorrhea, the best treatment is an injection of an antibiotic. That's going to have the best cure rates. But there is an alternative oral medication called Suprax that we can do. And hopefully that will take care of it. But if you have persistent symptoms, you should always be tested again to make sure the infection is eradicated and you no longer have it. In case that happens, you then need injection shots. In Europe, gonorrhea is very hard to treat. There's very resistant strains of it. So you might need some different treatment. 
trichomonas, metronidazole, an antibiotic for seven days, twice a day. Metronidazole can upset your belly, give you some nausea, some diarrhea, but very easy to treat. Herpes simplex, the bad thing is it's, you can treat it, but there's no cure. Once you have it, you always have it. One in five people in the United States have herpes simplex virus, genital, you know, herpes, and they need treatment, whether it be treatment for the acute episodes or prevention. You can use medication every day, both to prevent the flares and to prevent transmission to your partner. So if that's something you want to consider, talk to your provider about that and get medication. HIV, there are both pre-exposure prophylaxis, so people who have frequent high-risk intercourse can take it every day and prevent you from getting HIV in the first place. But you were out, you had a intercourse with somebody you don't know, and you just don't know if they could have HIV or not, and you just want to be treated, you need to be treated within 72 hours. So the sooner the better, the sooner you get the medication. Any provider with a medical license can give you post-exposure prophylaxis for HIV. But the medication is very rough. It's, it's three different medications. Some of them can combine one, two medications, one pill. So it's two pills, but it can be very, have a lot of side effects. And a lot of people choose not to do that post-exposure prophylaxis. There are some of medications that need monitors of liver levels and blood levels and things like that. But again, that's something that can be arranged through telemedicine um, or at least get you started and then follow up with a primary doctor or a clinic. So what did we learn in this video? That we learned about the different STDs, chlamydia, gonorrhea, trichomonas, herpes simplex, HIV, syphilis, and hepatitis. We learned about which ones are more serious, which ones are not, and that they, most of them can be treated through a simple telehealth appointment but you also need to be tested to make sure you don't have other diseases. And there's two main options that you can do at home on your own. And one is my lab box. Again, link on the description, healthlabs.com. Again, description down below. And if you need a telehealth dog, especially Georgia, Pennsylvania, I can provide services of counseling and treatment for any and all of these diseases. So hopefully you learned something today in this video. Please comment, share like, and we'll see you in our next educational video. Bye-bye.